Tina Fey returns to her beloved and iconic classic Mean Girls by making a 2024 hybrid Frankenstein's monster pile of crap, combining the stage play with that original, and I had to see it because I hate myself. Because I want to experience torture. Because I want to keep digging in the mud with these stupid, soulless, cash-grabby pieces of crap, and here we are. With a review of Mean Girls 2024, I can't wait to start. Let me first say I love Tina Fey. 30 Rock is one of my favorite sitcoms. It's a top 10 for sure. It's brilliant. Her writing is great. I love her performance and some of the SNL stuff she's done. She's great in the first Mean Girls as the teacher. And now she's back again as the same teacher. And so is Tim Meadows. And that's about it. Why isn't Amy Poehler the mom again? Why, was, was that too much to ask? They're like best friends in real life. Who cares? I'm actually glad Amy Poehler didn't come back because this movie is garbage. And I want to say, for the record, I love the original Mean Girls. And yeah, I'm going to be pitting this against that one because why wouldn't I? Should I pretend the original... Like, this, this understands that it exists. This is well aware. It makes several comments. It updates some of the jokes to be more modern, but also be like, yep, we, we kind of went there before. All right, you might not hate this, okay? If you're a big Broadway fan, if you like the Mean Girls play or whatever they call these things, I don't know, you might love this because it's a musical. There's singing, there's dancing. After all, Miss, there is Francine. And there's lots of songs. And I will say a good chunk of them are fun. And catchy although they undercut them a lot by stopping the performances 25 to 35 percent of the way through and then having dialogue for a while and then going back to it for a second most of the songs in this movie feel like they were cut way down like there was a lot more to do but they decided not to do it the movie already feels long enough already it's it's two hours too long for a comedy. I like them right around an hour and a half and I know the, the original Mean Girls is, is pushing a little too long too the characters are just trash in this okay they are terrible in this and it's not the fault of the actors they're doing what they can the only one that's actually decent is the main character katie she looks good she sings well she plays the performance fine just kind of a fish out of water type of individual and that's good she's good at it she reminds me a lot a stupid amount to amy adams i don't know if there's if the relatives if she kind of did some sort of a Freaky Friday with Amy Adams at some point recently and took her face and her body but made it a little younger. I don't know what's going on, but she really reminded me of Amy Adams in this film. Good performance from her, fine. The plastics, holy hell. Were they trying to get the worst people they could to play these characters? They're doing cosplays. Regina, for instance, what this is this character just sucks in this movie what made rachel mcadams work so well was she was sassy she was beautiful but she was also funny she had a comedic evil to her like a will ferrell mugatu like a dr evil that's how regina was she was saying bitchy things but she was doing it with gusto she was doing it with a, a pageantry that that just really sold me on it and made her funny all the same this new actress doesn't have that. It comes off as just mean. Just mean for the sake of mean. And then at some points, when I feel like she should have been mean, she kind of held back on some of it. So it just was very inconsistent. The other two were so bad. One of them, all she does is she kind of has her eyes really big. The Amanda Seyfried character just stands there most of the time. Doesn't even say anything. Just, I'm dumb. I'm so dumb I can't even form words. And then there's a scene later in the movie, holy crap, where, I mean, sun's out, gun's out. She had the full chest on display, and that was the entirety of the song, was basically just, look at my, <laughs> look at my tits. <laughs> it was uncomfortable and weird. It was just, it was kind of an odd scenario. And if you saw the movie, you'd understand what I'm talking about. And if you didn't, that's good on you, because there's no reason to watch this movie. Unless, of course, you fall into the bucket of people that doesn't care that everything's being remade. I mean, I'm a, I'm a bitter, jaded movie critic who's so sick of this crap now. I don't know why we have to keep going back to these wells outside of it makes money. 
and I love Tina Fey, so it just hurts me to, to even think this way, but that's how it is. I was watching this movie and all I kept thinking was, this was so much better before. The way they said these lines didn't hit the same. These actresses feel completely out of place, almost intentionally miscast to be worse. What is the point of any of this? This also reminds me of those terrible episodes of sitcoms, and I know some people are gonna like these ones, but I think Say by the Bell, I think Scrubs, episodes where they do musicals in the episodes almost always are awful to me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very much a personal preference, but when they do a musical episode of a TV show, I usually hit the skip on the on the remote for that one. Like, yeah, no, I don't need to see the off pitch or weird acting and singing and, and terrible choreography. Uh, to the point of Mean Girls, the singing's fine. Like, it sounds good. The choreography is pretty fun. I did see glimpses of brilliance from Tina Fey. In some of the dialogue, there were points where I was like, oh, that's a straight up 30 Rock joke where she where she starts to go somewhere and then she hits you with something else. I like that. But it's so far and few in between. My personal beef aside, what can you expect if you are actually looking forward to this movie? Again, there's a lot of music. It's very colorful. Cinematography solid, it looks good. There are some decent camera shots where they kind of pretend they're one takes, but I don't think they are. They're just doing a little bit of trickery. But for the most part, it's it's pretty seamless. I just, I don't know what else to say. Like, I don't know how to get people on board and I don't really think that's my job. I'm, I'm, I'm just a movie fan, okay? Like, I have another job. <laughs> this, is, this is all just for fun. Uh, and it's a side income, but by no means, you know, I'm not making millions of dollars here. Okay, so I'm just being straight with you. This is a film that's modernized. So if you're triggered by, um, you know, sexuality, if you're triggered by more than two genders, you're going to want to burn this thing to the ground because it will offend you in that sense. Um, this is very much like, you know, 2024, ra the whole rainbow spectrum thing. I don't give a shit about any of that. I'm just looking for an entertaining, good movie. And this really doesn't deliver for me because I'm just so upset watching it. Because uh, there's another movie that's better and it's at my house. Like I, I went out, I wasted a half hour driving to the theater to watch this and I wasted two hours to watch it plus trailers plus... Like this is a four and a half hour day gone down the toilet. Just so that I can bring it to you. Just so I can tell you my thoughts on it. At first I thought, you know what, maybe this will be different enough. They'll go a different direction with it that I can look past all the weird acting choices and, and some of the bad dialogue, but no, it really is beat for beat the same exact movie with a ton of the same lines. I mean, it's, it's just all played out. And the scenes that are iconic from the original are done a little bit differently and they're never done better. So it's, it's again, it's okay, it's a musical version. Whoopity fucking doodah. This is where I'm at now in life. Let me know. I have, I mean, I'm done. I have nothing else to say about this movie. If you saw Mean Girls and you loved it, if you thought, oh wow, what a fresh, fun spin. They modernized it. They pulled in some of the uh, original dialogue and some of the characters. Great, that, that's good for you. I, I don't care. I'm glad you liked it. You got your money's worth. I'm just here to, to maybe scare people from not seeing it if they were on the fence, or maybe to push people towards seeing it if that sounds interesting to them. Maybe it does, and that's, that's cool. I, I, again, not, not really a big deal to me whether or not you like a movie, and I hope it's not a big deal if I like it or don't. Let me know, though. Please subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of movie content each and every week. Love to hear your thoughts. Would love to see you stick around. Like the video, share it, do all that crap. I appreciate it. God, I'm like so I'm so busy. <laughs> I don't know why. Whatever. Do whatever you want. I don't care anymore. Yeah. No. It, it, it's fine. It's a movie. I, I move on. <laughs> All right. Take care.